Hey everybody, so this is going to be a real short video with just some insight on some things that the Lord has taught me. So since I was a little girl, I have dealt with overeating um, a lot um, because I believe it was because of rejection. Um, so I would eat, I would eat, I would be so full and I would just still eat. And um, <clears throat> some characteristics of the spirit of gluttony is... um. The spirit of gluttony can make you feel hungry. And I know this sounds silly, but I remember one time eating and I was full. And then like five minutes later, I was starving. And the Lord revealed to me like the spirit of gluttony can make you feel very hungry. I used to, I used to watch, <clears throat> excuse me, My 600 Pound Life. It's a, it's a TV series. I've, I, I haven't watched it in a while, man, but I used to watch it back then. And a lot of them always said that they're always hungry. And I've heard a lot, a lot of them say, you know, even when they just get done eating, that they're still hungry. Like, like they're never full. So they just eat all day. Um, I know for a fact that it's a spirit of gluttony because that will happen to me. Now, I never got to 600 pounds, thank God. But I got close to 300 pounds. And I think the, the highest I was was like 260. And um, I was way bigger than I am now. Thank God. Um... But the one way that the Lord has and has been delivering me from that is fasting. Fasting, fasting, and warfare, of course. But um, one day he told me to go on a fast, and he had, and he said, now we got to deal with the spirit of gluttony. And I fasted. I fasted, and like the spirit of gluttony was starved because of my fasting. So where literally, I didn't even think about food anymore. I didn't think about it. I didn't even want it. Um, I, yeah, I didn't even want it. You know, I, I didn't think about, I didn't care about it. I didn't crave it. You know, I, I um, God also taught me that a lot of cravings come from um, the enemy. Let me explain, okay? <laughs> I know that I know that sounds crazy. So what, what I'm trying to say is, I remember months back. Now I'm vegan, but I've had drink of the enemy trying to give me meat, trying to give me dairy, trying to give me things that I know God told me He did not want me to eat. Of course, everyone's diet is different. The Lord just has me. He called me to be vegan. Okay. Out of the blue, I almost said, or I know I actually heard myself in my head say, and I knew it wasn't me. I heard, oh, I want then something I didn't eat, whether it was chicken or whether it was just, you know, something with dairy in it, you know, something like that. And one time I caught myself saying it, and I was like, oh, I want, and then I caught myself, I was like, why was I about to say that? Like, that, that wasn't me saying that. And the Lord has also revealed to me that the enemy sits around very patiently and wait on you to say things. Because there is life and death in our tongue. But in the wicked, I mean, I mean, but in the wicked spirits and demons and stuff, they know that they cannot speak things into existence. So they wait until we manifest it with our tongue. Um... The same thing goes for a lot of stuff. We can speak life in things and we can speak death into things also. But um like think Cammy. Oh, like before I was a Christian, I always said that I, you know, was O C D. I, I said it almost every day. Thank God I'm not now and I in the name of Jesus I never will be. Again, be, but as soon as I became a Christian, y'all, that spirit hopped on me so fast. Okay? And I realized what OCD was. It was not something about, it was horrible. It was tormenting spirits, spirits of repetitive thoughts, torment, torture. It was, it was horrible. Oh, my gosh. So, I basically called that mental illness on me, and I didn't even know it. You know, nothing came on me when I was in, in Christ, when I was... In the world, when I was doing my own thing, I had no problems. You know, nothing came on me. But when it came to me coming to Christ, I got so much backlash. Like, supernatural. I got so many demonic attacks, y'all. I would feel wicked spirits in my room just walking around. You know, so much oppression. So, where in my mind, I'm like, okay, this got to be the real thing. Like, God, okay, okay. I made the right choice. It was Christianity because I felt nothing in the world, but I literally felt I was empty also. 
So I felt nothing with the attacks and then I felt nothing in my heart. I was empty. But when I came to Christ, I found love. I found a father. And I also found these attacks because they came out of the woodwork. They came out of the blue. But yeah, this video will not be long. It's just that I know gluttony is something that a lot of people deal with because you can eat from it from emotional stress, from trauma. You know, you can eat for nothing because you're bored. I used to eat because I was bored all the time. Recently, I was about to eat and I was full. And God was like, Kim, you're not hungry. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And then I just put the food away. I was like, well, I was about to eat. Like, I have, like, but it was because I was bored. I had nothing else to do. And that's also demonic. It's also idolatry. The Lord taught me that. Also, when you choose food over him, it is idolatry. And I have done it before and I feel horrible. I got chastised. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh my gosh because i knew what i was doing and he reprimanded me so bad because the whole time he was convicting me saying cammy don't eat it you're not hungry let the food go and i still ate it but that's all that this video will be about you know god bless you all shalom